Hello, veteran Owen Two in here. Welcome back, and this is another episode of Dragon Quest Two. In the last episode, we made it here to the harbor town of Leonport. So let's take a look around. I'm a soldier employed in this town. I came here from the eastern land of Elfgard. Really? Yeah, Elfgard is actually the uh, where pretty much the uh, the first game takes place. Like, uh, the Kingdom of Tantagol, and, uh, I can't remember the other ones off the top of my head. No. Yes! Uh, no. See you later. I'm looking for a hot woman. Hey, babe, don't hide back there. Don't you want to have a drink with me? Hick a hoop! So we got drunken sailors, and who's this? Don't you think I'm cute? Do you want to puff puff? Ooh, I'm delighted. Let's start. Poof, poof, poof. Poof, 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 poof. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, she's, uh... That's it, thank you very much. Please come again. It's that Puff Puff Girl, just like in, um... Well, just like in every Dragon Quest game, actually. I think they're in every Dragon Quest game, but, uh... Yeah, let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the lottery. Would you like to play? Uh, no. Yeah, I do have a lottery ticket, and I'll probably lose. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Oh, I don't want a consolation prize. Yeah. Whatever. I don't, cr I don't care. Yes, I do. Why not? What the hell are you using it for? Uh, we can deposit gold and items here if we want. Uh, items. Here, have a lottery ticket. Uh, I don't want her to have a silver key. No, we're good. We are good for now. This is a harbor town. People from all over the world come through here. Are you travelers? Don't forget to stop by my item shop. Alright, so... Yeah, we can buy fairy water, by the way, in case I didn't mention before. is actually the same thing as holy water or the repel spell in uh, an item form. Yeah, I didn't know what that was before. And the Dragon's Bane here, this is an accessory. It's supposed to help with resistance against spells like uh, Surround, Sleep, Stop spell, stuff like that. So it's pretty good. So uh, I'll probably be getting these for all three characters. And uh, over here is the equipment shop. What would I like to buy? Well, I would like to buy this wizard's wand for uh, Maria because uh, it's pretty good. Who's going to hold this? Maria is. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'd like to sell that fucking shitty ass uh, magic knife that I have. You can have that back. I don't want it. Okay, but, yeah, we can buy clothes of hiding here, which, um, is supposed to be, it looks like it's pretty good. And, uh, I probably want to get that for all three characters, especially Maria. I mean, look at her defense. It's terrible. I think, actually, Maria takes priority. And, uh, you know what? 
I don't know if this is wise or not, but I'm gonna sell this fucking wizard's ring, along with this crappy cypress stick that I didn't even know I had. No, uh, no, 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 go back. So, now I know this wizard's ring would be useful, you know, if you run out of MP and shit, but, I don't know, eh, you know what? No, actually, I'm not gonna sell it. I can just go around and fight for gold. Because, uh, now, now I'm thinking, you know, MP is valuable. It's very valuable. I don't want to lose MP. What's going on here? Save you from the monsters? Uh, no, I'm not going to hand over the girl. And we're going to have to fight some gremlins. Hello, gremlins. They don't look like the gremlins from the gremlin movies that I remember watching as a kid. I barely remember those movies, too. I remember the first one being kind of scary, but I remember the second one being kind of a joke. <laughs> the gremlins weren't scary at all. In fact, they were just screwing around the entire time. Thank you very much! Please come with me and I'll take you to my grandfather! Hey, Grandpa! <laughs> I'd like to thank you for rescuing my granddaughter. Oh yes, I'll loan you the ship. You can go whenever you're ready. You now have the freedom to sail wherever you like. Wow, that's pretty nice. That is very nice. So, uh, can we go down here? Yeah, with the silver key, we can unlock that door. And come over here and talk to this guy. A ship carrying treasures sank on a stormy night. By chance, when I passed the area where the ship went under, I tried to salvage it and her treasures from the bottom of the sea with no success. If you can get the treasures for me, bring them here. You certainly you certainly will be rewarded. Alright, buried treasure, huh? Or sunken treasure? That sounds exciting. So, I think what I'm going to do now is... Uh, level up, well not level up really, that'll just happen naturally, but yeah, I definitely want to buy some shit, uh, most notably, like, clothes of hiding, and, uh, I think I want to get another wizard's wand for, uh, for Kane there, that way he can use, uh, fireball as many times as he wants, but uh, yeah, because one thing I didn't mention about the wizard's wand, uh, if you use it as an item in battle, it will cast fireball, so that's pretty good. So yeah, not only is it better attack power than what they already have, but you can actually cast magic with it, which is nice. Because their physical strength stinks. Alright, went ahead and bought some crap for my characters. Uh, I guess that doesn't really show it. It's better if I just do this. I got broadsword... I can't even talk. Broadsword, steel shield, clothes of hiding, dragon's bane. I got dragon's bane for all the characters. And, uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And, of course, I got the wizard's wand for Maria there. And I leveled up a tad. Not a lot, but a tad. So, uh, we're gonna be heading out this way. Now we can sail the ocean blue. I have no idea where the next town is. Maybe it's up this way, I don't know. But hey, would you listen to that? It's the overworld theme from the first game. Pretty neat. Alright, we got some new enemies here. Demi-ghosts. The ghosts of Demi-more. Or something. I don't... Uh, yeah, let's try sleep. These guys hit kinda hard. Uh... Yeah, I just used the wizard's wand. A lot better than her trying to attack. 
Uh, those mud, mud men, I don't know if I even showed them off yet, but uh, I'll probably run into them eventually. Uh, those guys seem pretty resistant to attack magic or elements, so you could use... Uh, well, in that case, I, I would just attack with Maria instead of using the uh, wizard's wand as an item in battle. And hey, look at this. This should look familiar. Yeah, listen to that music. This is Tanto Tantagol Castle from the first game, so yeah. Uh, yes we are. Did that guy just heal our... Yeah, I think he did. I think that guy, uh, just healed us. Uh, no, we're good. I love this theme. When I, when I hear this theme, I just think of being a kid being introduced to RPGs. Because Dragon Quest was my very first RPG. Yes, I would like to continue. No! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I already talked to you. Hello, Mr. Guard. What? Yeah, that is shameful. What the fuck? They got a spoony bard on the throne. Alright, now this guy is important right here. Do you know about the story of the sunken treasures? No, I actually I have not heard about it. Uh, even though we have from the guy in the previous town. Let's go ahead and say no first. I heard that long ago a very rich merchant was living in the vicinity of the harbor of Leonport. However, his ship was piled up too high with the treasures and sank from the weight. It went under the middle of the open sea to the north. Um, probably should have thought that through a little bit more, huh? Story says that a spot somewhere in the ocean is sparkling, and that place is where the sunken treasures are. Alright. So, yeah, otherwise, uh, if you don't talk to that guy, the sparkly place in the ocean won't be there. So, you need to talk to that guy. Okay. So, if you talk to that guy, you can get rid of our curse. And we get some fairy water. Alright, nice. Wait a minute, what? Say that again. Now there's a path that connects them. Okay. Alright. So, here, the only thing that... Wow, that's it? I could buy a helmet here for an extra 6 defense. But fuck, for 3150, that is not worth it. And uh, full plate armor, yeah, clothes of hiding are better. And then 4000 for a giant hammer, only 10 pl plus attack there? No. No, I don't think it's going to be worth it, to be quite honest with you. That sounds like a waste of money. I'm going to pass. I'm not going to buy that stuff. Oh, shit. I guess that's where the king's hiding out. Wouldn't it be safer to go underground? Are you the innkeeper? One night is six... Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, here you can buy Dragon's Bane. And, uh, I'm not gonna bother. And up there, that golden door probably can't, uh, open it yet. 
The golden key. Yeah, eventually when I get the golden key, I'm probably going to be going back and doing a bunch of treasure hunting. But yeah, I think I could have went back to previous towns and opened some of the silver key doors, but I figured I'd just wait until later. Until, uh, until when I have both keys. So, uh... Alright, we got another new enemy, Enchanter. Uh, yeah, let's just take him out first. Have you cast sleep on these mud men. Yeah, that dummy ghost he attacks twice sometimes, which really stinks. And again, uh, I'll show you how ineffective magic is on these uh, these mud men. Oh, it actually worked? That's the first time it's actually worked. I swear. When I was trying to get gold for that equipment uh, in between pause breaks, it didn't matter what I was throwing at those mud men. It didn't work as far as magic. Wow, and then all of a sudden I go, here, I'll show you, and then it actually works for a change. Go fucking figure. It's the curse of the LP. Anyways, let's go up this way to the north. Because that is where our treasure shall be. Arr. Alright, we got some more new enemies. Sea Slugs and Mana War. Let's take out the Mana War. Let's cast Inferno on these Sea Slugs. Ineffective. No, that's fucking horse shit. I thought the dragon's bean were supposed to help against those kind of attacks. I guess I just got really unlucky there. And Maria gained a level. Wow, good gold for fighting those. And, uh, yeah, it's really hard to see, but here's the sparkly spot right here. You want to hit the, uh, the X button. And right now, I'm diving off the side of the ship to get the ship's treasure. Yay! Can we use, uh, return? Oh wait, I didn't save it there. Yeah, that would be a bad idea to use return. Yeah, I did not save it at Tanagal, although I probably should have. Uh no, these aren't new. None of these guys are new. Let's kill the Medusa balls. Get them out of the way first. What, they can fucking sleep you with their physical attacks? Horse crap. I call horse crap. I just decided to come back here off screen. I don't have to worry about editing out battles or not showing battles or whatever. So, uh, anyways, let's talk to this guy again. Let us through. And, uh, we're gonna take our ship. Open up this thing again. And talk to this guy. Alright, and we get the Echoing Flute, which, uh, to be honest with you, I have absolutely no fucking idea what this does. Uh, but we'll find out eventually. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest II in the next episode. 
Uh, we're gonna find out what the Echo Link flute does. I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I don't remember what happens after this point. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.